Foster's The Bear Fragrance. Yep, they've gone ahead and done it. First came VB, Victoria Bitter. All their hard work. Give them a spray just for old time's sake. Interesting. But now, they've come up with Foster's. As with the VB, the hops note is in this fragrance as well. Just under $30 at good old Chemist Warehouse here in Australia. I wore it for a few days straight, even to the gym the other day. Just so I can give you my professional opinion. Anyway, let's just jump straight into it. I'll share my thoughts with you all. Oh shit, go. G'day everyone, Mark from Aussie Fragrance, back, back with some more riveting YouTube content. Now a while back on my previous channel, I reviewed Victoria Bitter, the fragrance, the beer fragrance, but now that review's lost. Channel got axed that went down faster than your grandpa on your little sister. There's probably comments like that that actually got the channel taken down. But oh well. VB, for starters, as I said, also claims to contain the note of hops. Now this, this fragrance does go down the path of Bleu de Chanel, which isn't a bad fragrance, just lighter, mixed with vibes of masculine sweat. Something that you'd smell at a good old Aussie Outback pub that's full of all these blokes that are just pulled off for a hard day's work. Not pulled off, just finished off on a hard day's work. It does smell like sweat and body odor mixed with a Chanel fragrance. It is interesting, interesting. And I'm sure that vibe comes from the hops. And when I found out hops was in here, I was a bit hesitant. I wasn't looking for anything spectacular, but I needed it. And you guys needed to hear about it. Prepare to sacrifice my skin, my nostrils, my sex appeal while I'm out on the street. Not that there's much of that, but wearing Fosters and reviewing it for you. But as I said, I just had to jump on it faster than my premature ejaculation problems. Now, no one in Australia actually drinks Fosters. It tastes like piss. Not ordinary piss, dingo piss. Now, I haven't seen any reviews or any note breakdowns on this fragrance, but many of you out there that have tried a few fragrances, when you smell this, you'll know exactly what it was inspired by. Now, I get lavender, pepper, and ambroxan. They're the main notes that you're going to get. Sound a little bit familiar to the nose. It definitely smells like Dior Sauvage. Pretty good take too for $30. It's just softer and only lasts about four hours. It's pretty good for a Sunday Arvo drinking session, really. Five hours, totally gone. After that five hours, you are left with that hops vibe. It is a bad, bitter, green vibe. It's not very nice on its skin, but during that first four hours, it blends well with the fragrance. So well, that hops doesn't smell too good. Just spray the shit on again. Win-win. Now it's fun. Great as a gift. Most people will enjoy this scent. People love Dior Sauvage. My wife Carla, she loves Sauvage. So when I got this, sneakily sprayed it on, walked up to her and go, get a whiff, doll. And she goes, mm, yeah, I like that. And I pulled this out. She nearly shed her pants. So for the typical Aussie man or the younger blokes, someone that isn't overly interested in paying over $100 for a deal of Sauvage, this is a winner for you. Way better than VB, which by the way also tastes like fucking dingo piss. Just remember that performance, a bit of a speed bump, but you can reapply it. But as I said, honestly, a good fragrance at the price point. And there's not much to say, honestly. That's about it. Don't get too drunk, try and crack it open. You probably get off your nut anyway, a bit of alcohol in here. If you wondered about this fragrance, I hope this shit review helped you slightly anyway. I meant short review. Was both actually, short and shit. So if you enjoyed it, if it helped, don't be an asshole. Please subscribe, like, give us a comment, give us a thumbs up or something like that, you know, as you do. On the old tube. Till next time, peace. Stay safe. Say good day to your mum for me. See you in the next one. Crack a few frothies. I wanna go out